Your backwards voice reveals all your secrets, and CIA knows it. It's on both screens. Let's get straight into the video. In 1983, David Oates dropped his Walkman into the toilet. Now, if you're under 40 years old, a Walkman was a portable cassette player. If you're under 30, a cassette was how we listened to music in the Stone Age. Anyway, after being dropped, David's tape player would only play tapes in reverse. Now, at first he thought this was entertaining. There were lots of songs that contained hidden messages that you could only hear if you played them backward. But those messages were placed there intentionally. Soon, David discovered messages hidden in human speech that were not intentional. Messages that were put there by the speaker's subconscious. Now, it turns out we all do this. In fact, when we lie, our subconscious actually encodes the truth backward inside the lies that we tell. Now, this is really interesting because that means the truth about every conspiracy is right in front of your nose, if you know how to find it. When David Oates broke his cassette player, he didn't realize how far down this rabbit hole went. Reverse recordings have been around ever since recordings were invented. Thomas Edison liked playing music backward on the phonograph. Infamous occultist Aleister Crowley told his followers that they should learn to listen to recordings and watch films in reverse. In the 1950s, Raymond Bayless and Attila von Soleil would play recordings in reverse to try to hear messages from the dead. This was actually the beginning of EVP, or electronic voice phenomena. But occultists and ghost hunters were fringe cases. Reverse recordings would hit the mainstream when the Beatles started experimenting with backward messages in their music. At the end of the song Rain, the last few seconds of the track are backward. John Lennon said this was an accident, but he liked the way it sounded, so he kept it in. From then on- Oh, uh, hold on. You're not gonna play it? Nope. Copyright. Ah. Right. So if any of this episode has audio muted, that's because someone put in a copyright claim. Now, if that happens, I'll put this episode on Patreon, but you won't have to join to hear it. It would be nice if you became a member, but you won't have to. Anyway, from then on, if you bought a Beatles album, you had to play it in reverse to see if there were any hidden messages. Now, this caused quite a stir in 1966 after Paul McCartney was in a bad car accident. Whoa, how the hell did he survive this? Well, that's the thing. According to the urban legend, he didn't. Wait, what? Well, there's a lot to the Paul is dead urban legend. I'll just hit the bullet points. But if you want a full episode on this one, email me or let me know in the comments. But the gist is this. In 1966, the Beatles were the biggest rock band in the world. But in the early morning hours of November 9th, Paul McCartney was killed in a terrible car crash. No Paul, no Beatles. Oh no, why Paul? Why not Ringo? Now come on, that's not nice. Without Ringo, we would have never had the classic film Caveman. <laughs> I stand corrected. Anyway, to keep the Beatles going, Paul was replaced by a man named Billy Campbell, winner of a Paul McCartney lookalike contest, a contest held for this very purpose. Billy was taught to speak with a Liverpool accent and how to play a few chords on the guitar. Now, John really didn't like the idea of replacing Paul, but he went along with it. But he did start dropping hints of Paul's death, and people began to notice the hints. On the album cover of Sgt. Pepper's, the flowers above the left-handed bass guitar spell lies. And if you hold a mirror up to the drum, you get one one or 11 and nine and he died. Paul died on November 9th. Now there's an open hand above Paul's head, which has been said to be either a symbol of death or the representation of a priest blessing Paul at the time of his death. On the Yellow Submarine album cover, there's a hand over Paul's head again. If we open up the album for Magical Mystery Tour, here's a hand above Paul's head and again again and again. Whoa. On the Abbey Road album cover, Paul is the only Beatle walking out of step, symbolizing he's not one of them. And the way each of them is dressed is symbolic. John is dressed like a minister or some say like Jesus Christ. Ringo represents the pallbearer. Paul is the corpse and George is dressed as the gravedigger. And Paul is the only man barefoot. Now many people are buried without shoes. And in the background is a- I ain't gonna lie, this shit he is freaky as fuck. It's like the universe is grand design is so fucking intricate and in your face to what you can't see it, if that makes sense to you. You could be doing something and it's not your intent, but everything is set up around you the way it's going to happen happened already. It's weird. It's like some final destination shit minus the nigga dying in a crazy way, but it could be anything. You can go and take pictures with your friends. You can go back and look at it and 
whatever the fuck. Like, it's literally like Final Destination. It's like, shit crazy, bro. Shit weird. The white beetle with the license plate 28IF, meaning at the time this photo was taken, Paul would have been 28 if he was still alive. Okay, these are getting spooky. But the really creepy clues come from the music. At the end of Strawberry Fields Forever, you can hear John saying very faintly, I buried Paul. But that's played forward. There are a couple of songs that give us more clues if played in reverse. At the end of I'm So Tired, you can hear nonsense. But if you play it backward, and at the beginning of Revolution, Bro, what the fuck kind of frequency they put in there, bro? I did not like that. How they just digest it. What the fuck? Yo, I ain't doing these no more if it's going to be some of this weird shit. I don't need no necromancy, poltergeist-like type activity coming my way. This shit weird. You know how your body sits in 60 to 70% water and your brain resides in 73 to 78% water? And what frequencies, all this is frequency, sound, and energy. How I just heard it through these headphones just did a fucking tornado on my stomach or something. I ain't like that. Hell nah. See how frequency affect water? I ain't fuck with that. I ain't going back either. That shit is weird. Creepy pasta ass niggas. <laughs> Number nine is you play the beginning backward. <laughs> And this kicked off decades of musicians putting backward messages in their songs. You're really freaking me out, man. Well, if you're scared now, you're really not gonna like what's coming. Oh, mommy! It's common knowledge that musicians sometimes put backward messages in their songs, and this is called backmasking. Some messages in songs are obvious. <laughs> Some are not so obvious. And some are really clever. I gotta turn this shit down. I don't like this shit, bro. Hell nah. And some messages are disturbing. I am the murder of the air. Hear me. I am the beast that is technology. Backwards it says, here's to my sweet Satan. Did you hear that? Listen carefully, it says, I want to live it backwards like the Zep, whose power is Satan. Did you hear that? Some messages sound disturbing, but they're actually quite positive. That ain't no motherfucking positive message. Not to my kind. We're not of the same species. School means skull A, and that means like to hold back or to train a pet. Motherfucker, I ain't no pet, nor a sea monster, nor a man. If they men, I'm gods, man. You can't call the prototype the same as the original. I'm the original. I don't tell kids that. I'm not guilty of that. I may be guilty of some things. You feel me? But I, I, I ain't guilty of that. I'm telling no kid to stay in school, especially my kind. I know how it made me feel back in school growing up. So I know his kids going through that same shit, if not taking it worse. John D. Rockefeller and his curriculum, Warlord's curriculum. He want a nation of obedient workers, slaves, not creative, innovative, free thinkers. Because then we the, you know all the other shit. I ain't finna get into all that, but why people think this is a good thing? Not for my kind, it isn't. Staying, no, I got smart when I left school.
Let's continue. Now these phrases were all placed in music intentionally, but David Oates began listening to regular conversations in reverse. Then he thought he heard words, phrases, and sometimes entire sentences encoded back. Somebody got an app for that? Like if I was to record like this video, is it a way to play this motherfucker back? They got an app that'll make this shit go backwards. Like how the fuck is they doing that anyway? How do I do that if I wanted to? But that is interesting because everything in life is backwards. You know what I be saying in all the other videos that's true? How they try to perceptionalize my people in a light of being at the very bottom. And then they try to perceptionalize them being at the very top with the white coat syndrome, etc. When really, it's in reverse. They make it seem like, oh, you remember they said you was three-fifths a man. They said you was inferior. They said you was an animal. They said you was a monkey. They said you stink. Come to find out you don't have that 98% chimpanzee genetics. When you get wet, you don't smell like a wet dog. You feel me? It was like... Them niggas was joking on they self, really probably believing in it, that it was, and it's really them. Everything is backwards, that's why I'm saying, so it makes sense too. Everything, you need to look at everything. Even a conversation, rap, lyric, whatever. Listen, I guess, because everything else is backwards, so why not? Why would we just skip over that? It could be a conversation or whatever, why would we just skip over that and just hear it forward? Or even... Whatever you see on a piece of paper, we tend to read it from um, left to right. Let's try right to left. Semiotics, all that kind of shit, but. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm, a, I, I'm hip, but I'm going to get more into that. Whether it's my own video or whatever, or just having a conversation, have that motherfucker play backward, and let's just see what I can get at. Because I know it's a bunch of creativity there, things that can inspire things, truth lies it could just innovate simply because this is not a normal thing people talk about i don't hear it we just yeah i'm gonna start doing that more often for sure let's continue backward in everyday speech now these aren't placed there intentionally but are placed there unintentionally by our subconscious david first tested his theory on one of the most famous quotes of all time that's weird you can be said when you Pretty much when you saying something, you having a conversation, they can find a truth in it. I guess in that way, too, how they say everything has an opposite yet equal reaction. If you tell them lies, you having a conversation, you lying. Your subconscious something you can't even pick up, especially if you ain't trained to pick it up. And it will insert itself in it if you read it from the other way. Like you say it like this, right? And you're lying. And your subconscious will implant the truth this way, right? When you do it backwards. That's crazy. Life do work like that. It could be something you're not aware of, but yet it turned out how it was going to turn out, how it was supposed to at that particular time and moment. Life is some crazy ass fucking design, though. I'm not going to lie. It's definitely a creator, though. I don't believe in y'all white Caucasian sky god, man, but it's definitely a creator, even if it don't look like a man or none of that shit at all. You feel me? But because this shit is weird as fuck. It's literally like our dinko codes. It's literally like coding. Like, it's proof that we in the Matrix, but it's like how everything is just... It's tailor-made. Like, it's weird. And you have its little glitches here and there and deja vu or what have you, but the design is so fucking... You would think it was God's, and they all worked on this experiment, this matrix that we all in. Like, how fucking intricate, and I know God would ever to be work outside of time, but within that time frame, how long did it take? Or did it take time at all? But that shit crazy, bro, how everything is like that, bro. Every fucking thing is a grand design. You can be looking at some. You think water just wet and that's it. Nah, that shit hold memory. Again, your brain sitting in 60, 73 to 78% water. Your body is in 60 to 70% water. No wonder they plan these fucked up frequencies around us all the time. Because you see what frequencies does to water. It's crazy. Let's continue. <laughs> As one small step for man, 
Okay, that, uh, that, that can't be possible. David Oates was stunned also. He started recording conversations whenever he could, and he found that everyone was inserting backward messages into their speech about every 30 seconds or so. David Oates says that human speech has two separate modes that serve different functions, but complement each other. One mode is spoken forward with the conscious mind. The other mode is backward speech, which is encoded by our subconscious. It only makes sense. Everything has the opposite yet equal reaction. You consciously lie, your subconscious plant the truth the other way. You just gotta hear it the other way. It makes sense. I can hear it and know it's truth. I ain't gotta really look into all that other logistics and all that, not to say that I wouldn't, but the Schumann resonance, the I, I pick it up. It's not bullshit. It's definitely, yeah. It only makes sense. This mode contains emotions, inner thoughts, and our true intent. But as he continued his research, he learned something else, specifically when it comes to politicians and public figures. When someone lies, they subconsciously encode the truth in their own speech. Now this now becomes very interesting when you're listening to say, senior members of the government discussing the moon landings or JFK. I've been telling you the moon landings are fake. The, uh, does the backwards talking thing finally prove it? Well, if you believe David Oates' theory, Man, that moon landing shit fake as fuck. You had Rockstar trolling them. I was playing GTA Vice City, um, the the definitive defective edition. You feel me? And I was on this one level. It had a green screen in the back, I think. A UFO and some little shit. They like putting the little Easter eggs in the game. Rockstar be going crazy. It's my favorite. Rockstar's my favorite. They got Max Payne. They got San Andreas. They got everything rock star uh, what i was gonna say oh yeah y'all try to learn to listen to things backwards it ain't no point of being you feel me you 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 looking at everything else backwards you looking at semiotics you doing that and seeing if this word is still saying the same thing backwards you you seeing the lies and the the shit media doing they tell you one thing so you know to look at the opposite so i do that too I'm pretty sure it's a lot of shit and creativity and innovation and things that could just spark something new on you. You start to do that, whether it's this video you're watching before you or a song or whatever. Listen to that shit backwards somehow. Like, I feel like you will find a lot of shit, bro. I'm definitely about to start doing it. For sure. Let's continue. About backward speech, it does. That's crazy as fuck. <laughs> this game. It's fucking amazing though, but it's crazy. You're not ready for it. The speed up that you see how intricate life is, you think you say the words and they go out. On top of what you say, come back to you, you feel me? And however, which way, everything has an opposite yet equal reaction. Otherwise, you're disrupting the flow of balance. Everything has that. So you consciously having a conversation and lying and your subconscious i guess your subconscious is truth or righteous or whatever you want to call it or it's just because it's the opposite let's say if you is telling the truth would your subconscious be lying if you hear it backwards then everything has the opposite and equal poor you feel me everything so your words as well that shit makes sense bro that's crazy go and listen to some um Malcolm X speeches and all in here. It got to be an app for it. It's an app for everything else. I want an app for it where I can interpret anything. I want to hear my own videos backwards and see what's in there. Like, that's crazy, bro. That's like a whole nother... A lane of... It's just a whole nother lane that I don't hear people speak on it at all. Like, that you can get into, like... That's dope, for real. That day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands. I ain't black. I'm damn near gold. This black, they ain't white. They ain't right. I ain't got no white coat syndrome. They history past 
do not consist of anything righteous, good guy, strong, powerful, superman, bold. It don't, it's cowardly, it's recessive, it's weak, it's unnatural, weird, unholy, demonic, low vibratory. Please stop calling them white because they're not white. The lights I'm using is white lights. I'm not black. You see my skin color. If you want to be technical, call me brown or something then. I don't even know if I'm close to gold. Bet call me gold. You gotta quit with the ignorance. That shit's stupid. And I want to thank also all the people on this campaign. Now, when he first discovered Neil Armstrong's reverse speech saying man will spacewalk, David Oates was amazed, but he didn't think much more about it. He's not a moon landing conspiracy believer, but he got so many requests from people to dig deeper that he started analyzing as many people connected to the Apollo mission as he could find. The moon landing is fake, isn't it? It's definitely fake. Is it fake? It's fake, right? Well, I don't know if we can say without a doubt the moon landing was fake. Definitely fake. But there does appear to be some information that was covered up. Here's Buzz Aldrin. Shut out the sun coming in. Some of the other ones are under the spacecraft, so uh, it's looking through a. Uh... I remember, I remember, I remember, I and Neil Armstrong. We took the opportunity to try to take some some photographs of it, but our film was just not sufficiently fast to uh, to capture the, the event. Uh, however, this does show the brightest part of the solar corona. It extends uh, several moon diameters. I don't need to hear this backwards. I can tell he lying. Why just being forward? Ain't this forward? I could just tell he lying. The shit must have just... The shit jumping like a lie detector. You may not be able to do it. I have this power. I know it. The motherfucker is lying. He's walking on eggshells, stepping on, cutting his feet. Let's continue. Film. My fraud. My fraud. My fraud. Another from Buzz. Uh, this seemed to work, uh, but without quite the same degree of control uh, of your stability as you moved along. Buzz Aldrin again. We did find that uh, mobility on the surface was, in general, uh, a good bit better than perhaps we uh, had anticipated it. They now fib you. They now fib you. Lie. I don't trust anything that look like this. I don't. I'm the original motherfucking prototype. This the Thanos glove. What I look like trusting these. I know what your history consists of. Not his story. I see that the present, present still fucked up. It's a fucked up gift from Santa Claus. Um, yeah, I can project your future on where you had it due to looking at the past as well as the current. It's crazy. Learn to listen to people backwards. Then now, did you? That is the U.S. Eagle carrying the olive branch to the lunar surface, and we thought it was appropriate to uh, deposit this replica of the olive branch uh, before we left. Uh, that uh, lowers our altitude down to 50,000 feet. We had two guidance systems working for us, and they uh, behaved perfectly. It uh, lowers our altitude. But who's telling them to lie? Well, Michael Collins might have an answer. Uh, in general, just a series of slides, which in the interest of time, I'm not going to uh, dwell on, but I... So we know who the masters are. I'm assuming President Nixon also knew? Credit to the control center in this case. They were the people that really came through and helped us and said, continue, which is what we wanted to hear. Neil Armstrong again. Turns out that we were quite busy throughout the time period with uh, the same sorts of things that uh, the 
crews of fast flights have done after their flight. Who dare mask the colors? Who dare mask the colors? So if we view the moon landing with a skeptical eye, definitely fake. Let's listen to Neil Armstrong again. We know he says man will spacewalk, but some people believe he's saying this in the future tense, meaning man will spacewalk, but hasn't done so yet. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I have a I have a well, I'll leave it up to you to decide. But before you make- Why don't you hear that shit backwards? The vibration you pick up just, it just sound low vibratory or demonic like. I don't know, it ain't because of what they have trained us to. No, it's just like, I, I don't fuck with it. Sound is disturbing. Even though he ain't saying nothing crazy for real, but, but just with the, uh, 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 the, it just sound fucking creepy as hell, like bro. Make me feel like I'm in the infinite Sukiyome at Skinwalker Ranch with midgets, giants, sirens, mermaids, mummies, zombies, every fucking thing exists and final destination type like thing that I can't see trying out to get me. They just make me feel like I'm sub I'm around all wet. Like this shit is weird, bro. When I hear that shit, it just sound weird. Like, let me know if it sound weird to you too. I don't. I don't fuck with that shit, bro. I hear some shit like that. I'm trying to fight instantly. Like, what the fuck? Them, I'm trying to knock them demons out now. At that point, I'm squaring up. I ain't never balling up. It's over. You always got a choice. You going to fight or you going to let that whatever just, just bite on you. Hell nah, I'm fighting. <laughs> Make that decision. Check out David Oates' website. And he has plenty of reversals that seem to confirm that the moon landing did happen. And look, I understand that to some people, reverse speech sounds like science fiction, or at least pseudoscience. And for I don't sound like pseudoscience to me. I pick up the Schumann resonance, and it's just straight. When well, some shit is confusion, somebody trying to lie to you, or it's not no truth, I hear it exactly how it look on a display screen when somebody getting a lie detector test done. So nah, it's definitely truth. And then we just look at it like it's words. I said them. And some people know the extra, okay, what I see is gonna come back to me. You ain't looking at all parameters. You're not looking at everything. You need to look at it, okay, backwards. You said it con consciously. So what did you say subconsciously? Let's hear it backwards. You feel me? Everything is intricate. People, people don't even talk about that. It's in every fucking avenue, everything. Down to you can get in a shower with this fluoride sodium fluoride water. You think, oh, you don't even know. A lot of people still don't know. Your largest organ on your body is your skin. Your skin absorbed that shit. Especially when you got the hot water on. And what, the cold water, like, close your pores? And we just think water wet. You don't have no re respect for water. You take it for granted. It's expendable to you, etc. Like, it's, it's in every field. You feel me? People ain't really looking. They not looking. They not really looking, bro. Like, for some, it might be hard to take seriously, but there is one group that takes reverse speech very seriously. Who's that? I the take CIA. it serious. These CEOs started with nothing. I ain't no bot. I ain't never been no bot. But they didn't just climb the ladder. If you follow this channel, you know that the CIA has been involved in a large number of projects that would be considered pseudoscience or Man, that shit ain't, you think some grown ass entities that's demonic and they foundation is demonic and they are everybody business, you think they doing this shit for no reason? Remote viewing, telekinesis, giants, fucking hearing things backwards, uh, Bermuda Triangle, Skinwalker, Ranch, and anything they got they fucking hands on, reverse technology, element 115. Man, them niggas know about everything. They know sirens exist. They know mermaids. They know you can talk to whales and shit. They know, and they got, bro. They know anything you can think of that sound conspiracy. What in that word created by the CIA? And it was literally put in place to have the stupid mass populace to combat things that go against what they believe or what they've been shown or what they think real. So it's like they put it out there and all these stupid NPCs, the um, the non-creative, obedient slave workers that John D. Rockefeller wanted, 
all them stupid NPCs, or oh, that's crazy, or oh, aliens don't exist, or oh, mermaids don't exist, or oh, dragons never existed. Someone just drew a blue eyes white dragon, Exodia. Like, yeah, they stupid, bro. The mass majority is stupid. I'm glad I ain't y'all, bitch. I'm glad. Because y'all won't enter the credits. You're a filler. If you die, it don't matter. Don't nobody care. Whoever is looking on in through the firmament watching this movie, you don't matter. I'm here to tell you. Media lied when they told you every man is born equal. No, most niggas ain't shit. When I say niggas, that don't mean black. So that means somebody with a dick. I'm generalizing. The bitch, too. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all stupid. If you ever said that with a conspiracy, oh, full ride, that doesn't do anything to your... That doesn't calcify you. Anybody. Just know y'all dumb. And when motherfuckers get the shoot and a snipe and a bombing, you y'all filler. Y'all don't have no important purpose or role. So y'all gonna be the expendables. If a 50 million people gotta die, you're in that ticket and Akashic Records to get blown up with them because you don't matter. People that got important purpose and they really trying to do this shit, bro. With every fiber they be in, they really want this truth to come out. Of you. you feel me? Nigga, they got a purpose. They will be in the credits. So shout out to all you bum asses that instantly pull that card of conspiracy theory. Shout out to y'all. I'm glad I ain't y'all. We better than y'all. We going to somewhere better. And trust me, you reincarnating or you going into spectator mode indefinitely. Well, your, your motherfucking, your future will consist of nothing but opening cabinets, motherfucker. Let's continue. Paranormal. Project Shout out to the Eagle, Operation Often. Project Jedi. These investigated the use of psychics in intelligence gathering. Oh, was it really called Project Jedi? Yep, that program was launched in the 80s. Ah, when the Star Wars movies were good. Hmm. Project Bluebird, the precursor to MK Ultra, included experiments in hypnosis and the use of drugs to enhance psychic ability. You want me to tell you how, how stupid a bot is? Why I don't respect them at all. Like, it's, you, you literally, like, you know how the store clerk give you a penny? I throw them bitches all the time. You the only one looking the other way. Dumbass. Like, I'm, you feel me? Guess what? Let's say all these bots here on Earth, all y'all as a collective, they like, they tell me, okay, you either going to accept this penny for all of them to live or you got to throw the penny. Hold on. Nah. See, if you accept the penny, all of them going to die. If you throw the penny, penny, all of them going to live. That's going to be the day I accept that penny. That's how, that's what it is. Y'all, it's y'all, you should not procreate. You're going to procreate dumbasses. You feel me? That's what, that's, that's what you mean to me. Just understand that. And how, how bodied out they is, is a lot of them, they don't believe MK Ultra exists. That's a real thing. You think these grown ass demonic ass entities that work in the CIA just playing around for no reason? No, they trying to acquire more and more power. They in everybody business. They looking for the newest update to get the upper hand on the consensus, the mass majority. And the, uh, bro, these niggas probably got the Philosopher's Stone. Dead ass. They probably got the last two Emerald Tablets. They know some shit you don't. But um, the bot so botted out. They don't believe MK Ultra is real. Yeah, it's real. Yet yeah, they beat you upside your head with this religion. You believe in this magical sky white god, man. So they can put some MK Ultra somehow with you, connect to you personally. And then you'll be hearing a God like Jesus like voice of what you've been. You know what a Jesus, a God like voice sound like due to what you've been hearing in the movies and all that. Rather you don't, your conscious know it, your subconscious. So yeah, they can connect to you individually and have God be like, okay, they're going to feel my wrath or such and such. Go and shoot up this church. You know what? The NPCs are going to do it. Every last one of them, I don't care what skin color you are, go and sacrifice your only begotten child on this mountain. You're going to go and do it. That's how bodied out child is. Again, I never accept a penny. But if they told me, if you accept this penny, all 50 billion of these, I mean, not 50 billion, all 50 million of these bots is going to die instantly. And they descendants. Or throw the penny and they all will live. That's going to be the day I accept that penny. I swear to you. It's no, it's no need for y'all. Y'all are useless, bro. Y'all just a headache. Y'all make it for niggas that's escaping the matrix. We got to find different ways to swindle across the shit. Because if we sit there and fight you, we going to be exhausted. We beat your ass. Another Agent Smith going to pop up. No, we got to be smarter. It's, it's, we got to move around. It's a different way. I'm not fighting you bots, bitch. Let's continue. Peace. And Project Grill Flame, Project Center Lane, and the famous Project, Project Stargate all researched remote viewing. And there are lots more programs that we know about, and plenty that we don't. 
So it's no surprise that the CIA was or is looking into reverse speech. The United States government first became interested in 1990. David Oates had been publicly analyzing speeches from President Bush leading up to the Gulf War. But we must recognize that Iraq may not stop using force to advance its ambitions. Iraq has massed an enormous war machine on the south. I'm going to break it into two parts. I'm already at 35 minutes. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Deal me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Shit, am I going to split this in two or three parts? What the fuck? Let's, I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.